Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute children's sun hat. So this hat can be made in a number of different sizes and for all of the information on how to make the different sizes please see the description box below. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. So to begin your hat you want to start off by making a magic circle. So to do a magic circle take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once and you then want to wrap the yarn back over your finger to create a cross like that. You then want to take your crochet hook and go underneath the first loop of the cross and you may need to pull it up a little bit but go underneath the first loop and then using your crochet hook pick up the second loop of the cross and pull it through and you can then take your finger out and there you have a magic circle and we are ready to begin round one. So to begin round one we need to chain one and this chain one does not count as a stitch, this just locks our magic circle into place. So now we are going to start off by working a stitch called three double crochets together. And when we do three double crochets together, we do three double crochets, but we do not complete any of them. And then we complete all three stitches together at the end. So we are effectively turning three stitches into one. So we're going to start off by working our first set of three double crochets together into the magic circle. So yarn over, and go down into the magic circle just as you would with a normal double crochet. Yarn over and pull up a loop as you would with a normal double crochet and yarn over and pull through two loops. But you do not want to complete this double crochet. Stop here and leave it incomplete and move on to the next one. So yarn over Go down into the magic circle again, pull up a loop and pull through two loops. But you do not want to complete this double crochet either. So there we have two incomplete double crochets, one and two. And we need to move on to our third one. So yarn over, go back down into the magic circle, pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two loops. So there we have three incomplete double crochets and you should have one, two, three, four loops on your hook and you want to yarn over and pull through all four loops to complete the stitch. So there we have done our very first set of three double crochets together and now you want to chain three. So chain one, two and three and we're going to repeat that five more times for round one. So we're going to do three double crochets together, then chain three, five more times or six times in total including this one that we just did for round one. So we're going to move on to our first repetition. So yarn over go into the magic circle and work one incomplete double crochet, yarn over, go back down into the magic circle again and work a second incomplete double crochet and then yarn over, go back down into the magic circle for a third time and work a third incomplete double crochet and now you should have four loops on your hook and yarn over, pull through all four loops and then chain one, two, three. So there we have our first repetition and you need to do that four more times for round one. So you should have six of these sets in total.
So I have finished working those sets for round one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six sets, and I have finished off with a chain three. So now to finish off round one, we need to close up our magic circle and join. So to close up the magic circle, take this end or tail here from where you made the magic circle at the beginning and pull this nice and tight. So pull it as tight as you can and that will close up the magic circle. And then to join, we are going to do a slip stitch into the top of our first set of three double crochets together. So here is our first set. So insert your hook into this stitch. So it should be a kind of longer stitch here. Go into this stitch and yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So work a slip stitch. And now you can fasten off. So pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn, leaving a tail to weave in or work over later. And now we are ready to move on to round two. So we are now on to round two of our hat. And to begin this round, we need to attach our new yarn to our work. And in round two, we are going to be working into the chain spaces from last round. So into the chain three spaces. So we are going to attach our new yarn into one of these spaces. So it doesn't matter which one you choose. This is just a big circle, so you can choose whichever one you like. I'm going to choose this one here. Insert your hook into the chain three space. Then take your new yarn, so I'm going with a cream, and place it over the end of your hook. Pull it through, and then chain one to secure it, like that. So there we have attached our new yarn to begin round two. And now we're ready to move on with the rest of the round. So to begin round two, we're going to start off by going down into this first space here that we just attached our yarn into. And we're going to work three double crochets together. So just like we did last round. So yarn over, go down into this space and work three double crochets together. So there I have three incomplete double crochets and four loops on my hook. So now I'm going to yarn over and pull through all four. So there we have done three double crochets together. And now you want to chain three. So chain one, two and three. And now go back down into the same space again so in the same space that we just worked into and work three more double crochets together. So work another set. So yarn over, go down into the same space and work three double crochets together. Like that. And now chain three again. One, two, three. So there we have done three double crochets together, chain three, three double crochets together, chain three, all into that space. And we're going to continue doing that all the way around for round two. So into every single space from last round, and that should be six spaces, we are going to work this set of stitches here. So yarn over and go into the next space and do three double crochets together. Then chain three. And now yarn over, go back down into the same space and do that again. Three double crochets together. And then chain three like that. And now do the same thing into the next space and the next one 
and the next one and the next one. So just repeat that all the way around. So I have just finished working that all the way around for round two. So I did a last chain three. And now to finish off this round, we are going to do a slip stitch into the top of the first set of three double crochets together that we worked. So here is our very first set and insert your hook into this stitch and work a slip stitch. And now you can fasten off so pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn leaving a tail to weave in or work over later. And we're ready to move on to round so three. So we are now on to round three and we need to start off this round in the same way as last round by attaching our new yarn to our work. And this time we are going to attach our yarn into one of these spaces. So it doesn't matter which one you choose, as long as you choose one of these spaces here. So in between these kind of V's like this. So you could go here, or here, or here, or here, or here, or here. It doesn't matter which one, as long as it's in between one of these V's. So I'm going to choose this one insert your hook into that space. Now take your new yarn, place it over the end of your hook, pull it through and chain one to secure it. Like that. And now we're going to go down into this space that we just attached our yarn into and we're going to work the same set of stitches as last round. We're going to do three double crochets together, chain three, three double crochets together, chain three, all into this space here. So go into the space and do three double crochets together. Now chain one, two, three. And now go back down into the same space and do three double crochets together. And chain one, two, three. So like that, and if you have a look at our work, you can see that we have created one of these V's into the V from last round. So we have done the same set of stitches into that space as last round. And now we're going to move on to the next chain three space here. So the next one, not the one in between the V here, but the next space along. And into this space, we are just going to do one set of three double crochets together, then chain three. So yarn over and go into the very next space and do three double crochets together. And then chain one, two, three. And now into the next space here. So this is the next V from last round. We're going to go into this space and do another V. So we're going to do three double crochets together, chain three, three double crochets together, chain three, all into that space or into this V. So do three double crochets together. Chain three, three double crochets together, chain three, like that. And now into the next space here, 
we are just going to do the same thing as we did here. We're just going to do one set of three double crochets together, then chain three. So go into the very next space and just do one set. like that. And we're going to repeat this all the way around for round three. Into this next space, we're going to do two sets of three double crochets together, then chain three. But then into the next space, we're going to do one set of three double crochets together, chain three. Then we're going to do two sets, one set, two, one, two, one, all the way around. So we're going to do two sets into this next space here. Like that. And now into this next space, we're going to do just one set. And just continue that all the way around. So I have just finished working that all the way around for round three. So I did my last set here into this last space and then chained three. And then I finished off by doing a slip stitch into the first set that we worked and then fastened off. And now we're ready to move on to round four. So to begin round four, we're going to start off by attaching our yarn to our work. And this time you can go into any space around. You could attach it into this space, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. It doesn't matter any of the chain three spaces from last round. So I'm going to go into this space and just attach your yarn as we have done a few times before. like that. So now round four is very simple. Into each chain three space from last round, we are just going to do one set. So one set of three double crochets together and then chain three. So we're going to yarn over, go down into this first space here that we just attached our yarn into and do three double crochets together. and then chain three. And now you want to go to the next space here and into this space, do the same thing. One set of three double crochets together, then chain three. And now do the same thing into the next space, one set. And just continue that all the way around for round four. One set of three double crochets together, then chain three into every single chain space from last round. So I have almost finished working that all the way around for round four. So I did my last set into this space here and then chained three. And then to finish off this round, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first set that we worked and then fasten off. So pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn, leaving a tail to weave in or work over later. 
So there we have finished round four and we're now ready to move on to the next round. So we are now on to round five of our hat and for the next five rounds, so for rounds five, six, seven, eight and nine, so five rounds, we are just going to repeat round four, so the round that we just did. So for round five, you want to attach your yarn into any chain space around. It doesn't matter which one you go into. And then work one set of three double crochets together, chain three into that space, and just continue working those sets, one into each space all the way around, and finish off with a slip stitch and fasten off. So do that all the way around for round five, then six, then seven, then eight, and then nine. So do five rounds, so, or five repeats of round four. So I have just finished working those rounds and this is the exact same hat using the exact same pattern. It's just that I started a new one using different colours. So it's the exact same. So I have come to the end of round nine. So I have rounds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. And now we are ready to move on to the sun hat part of our hat here. So if you wanted this section to be longer, you could add one more round or two more rounds. Or if you wanted it to be a little bit shorter, then you could take one round off and just do eight rounds. It's completely up to you. But I am happy with the size of my hat here after nine rounds. And now we are ready to move on to round 10, which is the first round of the sun hat part. So to begin this round, we're going to start off by attaching our yarn into one of the spaces. It doesn't matter which one you choose, so you can go into any one and just attach it in the same way as we have been doing before. And now round 10 is a very simple round. We are just going to do four double crochets into every single space. So four double crochets. So yarn over, go down into the space and work one double crochet. And we are now completing the double crochets. So there we have one. And now I'm going to do a second one. Then a third. And then a fourth. So four double crochets into that space and now go into the next space and do the exact same thing. Four double crochets into this one. And now do the same thing into the next space. Four double crochets and just continue that all the way around for round 10. So I have finished working that all the way around for round 10. So I did four double crochets into this last space at the end. And now we're going to finish off by doing a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked. But do not fasten off at the end of this round. So just work your slip stitch and then leave your yarn as it is. And now we're ready to move on to round 11. So to begin round 11, chain one, and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So now we're going to go down into this very first stitch here, so the stitch that our chain one comes out of, and work two double crochets. So yarn over and go down into this first stitch and do one double crochet, and then do a second one, 
back down into that same double crochet or down into that same stitch. So there we have two double crochets into the first stitch. And now we're going to do one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So go into the next stitch and do one double crochet. Then do one into the next one and one into the third one along. So there we have two double crochets into one stitch and one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And we're going to repeat that all the way around for round 11. We're going to do two, one, 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 two, one, 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 all the way around. So I'm just coming to the end of round 11. So I have finished off by doing two, one, one, one. And then to finish off this round, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked. So do a slip stitch, but do not fasten off again. And now we're ready to move on to round 12. So to begin round 12, chain one, and this chain one does not count as a stitch. So round 12 is very similar to last round, but last round we did two, one, 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 and in this round we're going to do two, one, 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 one. So we're doing two double crochets into the first stitch, but then one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. So do two double crochets down into this first stitch here. And then do one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Like that. And just continue to repeat that all the way around for this round. Two, one, 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 two, one, 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 one. So I have finished working that all the way around for round 12 and then we're going to finish off this round with a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked. And now we're ready to move on to round 13. So round 13 is the final round of our hat and it's a very simple round. So we're just going to chain one to start and this chain one does not count as a stitch. And now we're just going to do one double crochet into every single stitch around. So go down into this first stitch here and do one double crochet. Then do one into the next stitch and one into the next. And just continue this all the way around for round 13. One into each stitch. So I have just finished working that all the way around for round 13. One double crochet into each stitch around. And then when I got to the end of the round, I finished off by doing a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked and then fastened off. So pulled my yarn out and my hook and cut my yarn. And then once you have done that, we have finished. So you can go ahead and weave all of your ends nice and securely into the inside of your hat using a yarn needle. And we have finished. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. And in the description box below this video, I will leave a link to where you can find my Twitter account. So if you would like to go and follow me on there, I always like to post updates and pictures of upcoming tutorials. And I would love to see photos of your crochet work on Twitter as well. 
and in the description box I will also leave a link to where you can find some of my written patterns if you are interested. And thank you again for watching. Bye!